yo my people welcome back to the life of fergie i'm feeling inspired today because uh today trend central recently just released their brand new series of hot desk looking forward to it i will admit i did not see the trailer but when i read the title for this episode i thought to myself wow so me and shakala will admit we watched till about halfway through and then i said hold up let's talk about this i mean this just got released today let's just provide our opinion so Here's Shakala, my sister. Hey. Feel free to say hello. Hi. You can check out her social media in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, it's called Hot Desk, episode one. He made his wife tie her tubes and had kids with another woman. First of all, let me say that's absolute madness. But you ready to begin? Yeah, men are trash. <laughs> Leave that men are trash stuff. But yeah, let's go, let's go. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Hot Desk. Joining the Vlani, AZ, and your boy Charlie Mace. We've got a question sent in today, yeah? Um, I've been with a girl for four years now. I love her to death and I want to I want, I wanna be with her for the rest of my life. Only problem is I no longer believe in marriage. I finally expressed this to my girl and, <laughs> cu <laughs> and cut the story short. She's leaving me. Did I miss something here? Yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, no, are you laughing like, already? I'm laughing because it just sounds ridiculous. I've been with her for four years. I want to spend my, the rest of my life with her. But I don't want to wife her. <laughs> you want to spend your rest of your life? Whoever sent through this question, let me tell you something. Should I hope this. you're not the same person who said this statement because you're mad. Tell me something, how have you been with someone for four years and then after being with them for four years and being in love with them, now, now you don't believe in marriage? It's a sugar daddy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's continue, man. Right? Okay. Of course you do. This is what I'm saying! You've missed all four years you invested in this thing. Your life is a bit of a shake right now, to be honest. Like, uh, wait, is that a serious question? Yeah. yeah. Cool. How can you go from believing in it to falling in love and being committed for life to not believing in marriage. That, that doesn't make no sense. He must be an rich nigga to be saying that shit. Because I know a white boy, he told me, because he's a millionaire, he told me he doesn't want to get married and that was solely because of his finances. Oh, fair enough. He could love someone, but he was scared though. Because I think he'd seen his dad and he'd seen people around him get... Divorced like, and then, yeah, yeah. half the peace. So... I mean, I understand, like, I, I, I see what you're saying about what um, whoever the guy was. <laughs> the billionaire or millionaire. Millionaire. Yeah, she but, said, but, Lonnie, no, but, if you ever see this video, you said that so casually, he was a millionaire. Were you dating him? I just, just out of curiosity. Uh, and then he was just like, no, nah, I don't want to wife you because of the experiences I've had. But but my goodness, how, how would you say that so just like, oh, he was a millionaire? No, but I'm saying, my thing is, like, he's saying, like, I understand, like, seeing past relationships, like, fail, if that's what she was trying to imply. Mm. But you, why don't you start? a new trend, a new generation, a new legacy for good relationships. So that you have a legacy of children to... Hmm. A legacy of... <laughs> a legacy! <laughs> Don't quote oh, me. Goodness. Hey, this quarantine's getting... A me. legacy of... I haven't, of, I haven't a been to college. Children. I haven't been to college. Oh, Flowers. Now the thing is, I agree with Azraya though. How do you go from four years and being, like, wanting marriage, loving this person, falling in love, and then now, I don't believe in marriage. It's gone to you. You're mad. If if the man's rich, like, would you be understanding? Because it's like I'm, I'm, I don't know how to take this one. Yeah, I think some of it's No, I would be understanding, but it wouldn't be my problem anymore because I need to find someone I want to marry. <laughs> but I would understand. You would understand. Yeah. Me. I don't know. You know, I think I just I wouldn't leave him. I just feel like I'll nag him. If a guy told you to come and sign a prenup, you would be calm with that. I'll sign a prenup, but he has to marry me. Yeah, I want to get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get married, <laughs> but it's happy. Do we have prenups in the UK? I swear we don't have. Well, whatever the equivalent is. I feel like it sounds like just women in general. Like they make they you get to a place of a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get shot for this. <laughs> <laughs> you get to I a place of a woman. <laughs> I'm trying to make it juicy in it. <laughs> you get to a place of a woman, and it's almost like you know. Okay, so you you get with the guy that's a player. Yeah, yeah? you know that the guy's a player. Yeah. But you know but you're you this amazing me. woman. Yeah, basically. <laughs> You get together now, and the guy is now changing for you. Yeah, yeah? he's become this. You know. But that's not a real player, though. Sorry, <laughs> you're going to say something. Nah, that's she got. Nah, she, she, a real player doesn't get his feelings involved. Nah, it's just like uh, if you guys have ever seen the TV show, the American show by Tyler Perry, House of Pain. There's a character in there called Calvin, known as Cousin Calvin to the kids, 
And what's that line he says? It's just like, players don't fall in love. Uh, it's Ooh. like you, you can't catch feelings if you're a player. And the person who plays Calvin, he's in this um, film that I watched. Lance Gross. I thought it was Gross, but okay. Is it Lance Gross? Lance Gross? I think so. Okay. Oh, oh my bad. He's in this film know. called um, Love Kills, and he basically is a player as well. And then, like, but that's a whole other story. But he, he's, he knew what he was doing in the whole time, but he was in control the whole time in that film. So, mm. yeah. It's not sponsored. Fair enough. But I rate you women who are able to actually change players. You keep doing your thing. They're at home guy, he's loving, he's caring, all of this kind of stuff. Three years down the line now, all of a sudden, he's too nice. He's always in the house. You don't, uh, what, 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 what happened within that three years? Like, you, you, you worked and put in so much to get me from here to here. I'm now in this position and now you don't want no more. What, that is? It's almost like... But relate that to the man. Oh, wait, 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 no, no. What did he say? No, I think Lucas is... Can you rewind? Let's rewind, because I don't really... I feel like he's gone off on a different... I, I think he's misunderstood the question. I think... Hold on, wait, wait, let, let, let continue. Missing. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Of course, who doesn't want to get married no more? Him or her? He doesn't. He doesn't. Marriage is a weird one for me, because right. I've gone through phases. That. so different. Yeah, did you yeah, get I think, yeah. I thought the, the woman yes. got him to be... That's her. <laughs> being in love, or the, yeah, they got to being in love, and then after four years, she's like, you know, I don't want this no more. Oh, no, it's him that doesn't want to get married anymore. Marriage is a weird one because I went from being like, my mum is very hell bent on me, like, getting married. So is my dad, actually. My dad's like, you should get married, like, you should have a husband. Like, it's Are security, they yeah, they're married. It's security, financially, things will be better for you both mm -hmm. in coming, like, come not necessarily. <laughs> Finances is the number one thing for divorce. So uh, uh, it's the number she one. can't just come with the statistics. So you can't really uh. say it's secure, like you necessarily secure, because there's people that get divorced and then come out with nothing, and the person that cheated on them comes out with a bunch of money and the car that they have. <laughs> <laughs> the woman has their car, but now he has ownership because oh, he has her own business. Mad. Oh. Married to some point and stuff. So, so they both want me to get married. My mum is very hot on me getting married. Um, so in my head, I've seen them married. They've been married my whole life. So in my head, marriage was a blueprint. Mm -hmm. And then I had a boyfriend who didn't believe in marriage, and I totally understood his stance. Like I totally got it. Um, but then after we broke up, I was like, girl, what was you smoking? <laughs> like, but I do get it. The thing is, I do get it. But definitely a societal thing. Yeah. But once again, I acknowledge that, and I don't care. I want to get married. I want to. I want to get married too. My wife, if you ever see this, my future wife, I love you so much. I'm praying for you. I'm going to make lots of beautiful children together. But yes, I want to get married in the future. She will get married in the future. I will make sure she gets married in the future. What? You have no choice. You will well, get married. I will, but I'm saying... Like, you will get no, married. No, but I'm, so, I'm saying... I don't know what the point was, but I kind of do at the same time. But... Oh, yeah. It's like... Don't no. I like the way the confidence she comes with of like she wants to get married and that's just it. Yeah, like, this is Even where we go wrong. We don't have no nowadays. We as people, girls and boys, we just don't have standards when it comes to relationships anymore. I don't know what happened in the late two thousand, but now we don't have standards and now we just accept any person because you've just got a great face and that's it. It's I like, cannot where's stand the personality? that. Like, I can't stand that. It's like, like nowadays we just settle for so less and it's like know your worth. Know your worth. On what you said, yeah, because well. it's very good that you were, you know, understanding for your ex and you stayed with him and stuff. But I, I have a friend and she, she dates Caribbean men. Um, you know, no offense, but a lot of Caribbean men don't get married, right? No, they, they don't. As we are Caribbean. We get to, we get to say what whatever we want <laughs> about this uh, statement. Lani, you are correct. It's very true. If you go to the yeah. island, then man, uh. We still have yet to actually go to our home country, Jam Jam, Jamaica, you get me? Well, uh, you watch but... the videos on YouTube, they all just like... I don't know, they're just... How are you, not... how are you discrediting like... our Jamaican heritage right now by saying our only knowledge of Jamaica is YouTube? No, videos. because you said you, we haven't gone, because we haven't gone. So I was True, saying, based gone. on what I've seen as well as heard, it's not really a... It's only like, if you're like a Seventh-day Adventist or something like that. Then it's like a big deal about marriage and marriage. Seventh day Adventist, a popular term for a different. Uh, oh, I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a thing. It's a denomination of Christianity. Cool, cool. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I going to say? You don't know. I can't read your mind. Ah, oh. I'm. I'm gonna let it come back to me. 
as much as African. That's that's fact. I'm, I'm not. Seeing it, out it came back. It came back. Yes, Caribbean people. It's very rare for them to get married. Very true. Some of the girls that they'll be with, like some I've heard, they will just compromise and not get married for the guy. And I just feel like in this day and age, you just have to force people to do what you want. So, for instance, if you want to have a baby, <laughs> whoa, whoa. no, you're listening. I'm gonna be like, ah, no, 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 no. The next, the next, if a man ever said that, you know what I mean? The next nigga I date, um, if I'm ready to have a kid, I don't need to ask for your permission. I'm getting pregnant. And listen, ah. you are marrying me. Ah. If you love me, ah. you ah. are ah. marrying me. Ah. 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 You are a suitable age to get married. We should just get married. This is scary, you know? Ah. Don't no, talk no, to no, land no, you, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Can I just say this is something that's in a lot of, no, but this is something that's in a lot of cultures. I know she's saying like oh. we will marry like it's kind of, like, you ain't got no say. We get in the ring, you know what I mean? Whoa. She's got that type of energy and that type of vibe. But in a lot of cultures, you find that if a person like has sex out of marriage and it's sex like, out of wedlock, like, fornication, wedlock. fornication okay. promiscuity, yes, it's okay, all yeah. the same thing. Okay, yeah. So if they do that and they get pregnant, it's very like a lot of especially um, the, like the parents. Even like you'll hear from aunties and uncles, but from the parents, it's like we don't care. You will marry this boy even if you don't sure. like him because you have you're now impre- you know you're now pregnant. Yeah, so, but and that could be the reason why she's thinking that. But she's but she's not coming on that energy of like <laughs> no, I would be forced to marry. Laugh, she's like, like she's, she's I, saying, don't you per- I don't need you your I don't need your permission. Will. If I want a baby, Where I'm getting the, pregnant. Like Where is the <laughs> you have no choice. But then you complain that he's a terrible he's, husband, no, no, and he'll go on blogs and go on things no, like he's, he's, and, and forums right. and be like, "My children are the worst thing that ever happened to me." No, no, no. But he's a good boyfriend, but he doesn't want to marry. Don't trust that anyone. Don't be pulling out. Okay. No, no, no. I... See, this is why you need to know who you're dating. These are the questions you should be asking from the very beginning. Because why am I with what? Yeah, I, I told understand. you about that Instagram video. Did... Imagine one time I was on Snapchat, I saw someone screen recorded. There was this black guy. I don't know his name or anything. I don't even remember the Instagram account. But basically, he was ranting and raving in his car saying, look, don't get into a relationship if you cannot see yourself marrying that person. Because if you don't see yourself marrying that person, why are you in the relationship? Why are you spending time investing? Point like, what are you doing? <laughs> Boom. No, but that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. Like, sometimes you guys act like you have a lot of time. Life is short. When you're dating someone, you should be straight on like, I like you, you like me, da 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 da. Okay, right. let's get the ball First, rolling. Like, yeah, are you into this? Are you, do you see yourself being married? If you do and you don't, that should be the first and last date. Yeah. So like, stop, stop dragging that out. You're wasting your own time and energy. Yeah. Let's sit down to, <laughs> to your belief, your belief systems, really, in terms of like what you believe to be essential and what you're comfortable with yeah, as well exactly. and another thing like sometimes it doesn't always have to be like i want to get married because this is because this done i want to get married because that's how i feel inside like i feel like i want to be married i feel like i want that dynamic i want that nuclear it's just a compromise but you can't base everything on feelings yeah that's go, true you have to go if you don't go in marriage with the right mindset and that's why marriage counseling is very important if you don't go with the right mindset you you probably fail and you realize you wasted 30 years and stuff like that. yeah it's very true uh, one of the things you should never really make most important decisions off of emotions because your emotions it's been proven they're chemicals and they change like every two seconds or something so like it's just the same way sometimes i love this girl i love her with all my heart and then sometimes i want to kill her like like right now because no, no i'm joking i'm joking i love her i love her i love her love her but yeah the point is think with your head and judge when to use your heart they should compromise with like the prenup thing you said. No, even that because because we don't know if it's down to finances yeah, or not. Is, yeah. But I'm just saying that like, literally, if you if the love is there, if the union is there, if someone doesn't want to get married, should that not be the bill? But you should tell them from day one, no? Yeah. Or did he change his mind? Yeah, I think he changed his mind after four years. How can you? That's so backwards. How can you fall in love with me, decide you want to spend the, your rest of your life with me, and now you feel married? I don't, that, that, how does that even make sense? That's why I, I, I think it's, it's so like a cop out. It's lazy. It's mm. you know you're spending money. For me. Yeah, 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 no, even no, though it's no, a no, standpoint on no, whether you believe in marriage or not, or you know the the financial implications of marriage, um, the fact that you can be exploited through marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's so many different factors, but. Marriage as a whole, for me, yeah, for me, is love is fickle, man. Like, you can be in love today, like, tomorrow you hate the hell out of each other. And when you get married, it's like... 
Wait a sec, Lordy. What do you mean you don't believe that? Like, no offense. Like, everyone's got their right to their own opinion, and I got no judgment. But I agree. I agree with you, Lucas, man, because it's just same, same what I said. I've grown up with this child her entire life, because obviously I'm the oldest, so I've had more life without her than she has without me. She's always had me in her life. That makes sense, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, my point is, uh, <laughs> like, we have our fights. We're not, we're not the joyous siblings you see before you all the time. And that's just with everything, like, mum, dad, friends, like, oh, we all have our ups and downs. Yeah, but I'm that type of person where I don't, mm, I feel like it's a choice to argue, because you allow yourself how you talk to someone. You some people are like you give me the same energy back I'm a, you know what I mean you yeah. give me this energy I'm gonna give it back but someone could be, be like <laughs> and you'd be like okay well I disagree and that's I'm true. just gonna let you think you have more power than me done true. and you actually win you're better yeah. your siblings your mum your dad like you fight with your parents every day like do you know what I'm saying and one minute you could love them you know, to the end of the world, the next minute they could drive you absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't see any different with your partner. Do you get what I'm saying? Love is forever. Yeah. And it, yeah, it should be. Yeah, but, but love is a choice. How sweet it is mm. in that forever is not... Um, um, it's always a sweet road. And it's love is also a choice. Like, you do have to yeah, choose to yeah, love someone yeah, for yeah, the rest right, of their yeah. life. You're not going to wake up every day and be, like, smitten and besotted yeah. every it's single perfect. day. perfect you even said the word choice. But you have to because fight! If, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you, that's a choice you make. And I feel like that's what marriage does. It, it takes away that choice to easily walk away from yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. When you, when you commit to a marriage, it's both of us saying, you know what, we cannot both just walk away yeah. from High something. five. Like, no matter how much you love each other, no matter how much you know you lot have got kids and all of this, like, the fact is, you don't have nothing that binds you outside of mm. if you have kids. I like what you're saying. You know what saying? So, you're stuck that? with me. No. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I already know the kind of girl this, this girl is, you know, she's all my... Look at the way she's grinning as well. Her way or no way. No, 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 <laughs> I like what you're saying. But it's, 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 it's true, though. Like, a lot of people need accountability. To you can't just say you're dumped. Like, it's true. You can't just walk yeah. away from it and... You know, even like yeah. recent times is when divorces even became yeah. into the picture. Like once yeah. you once you made that commitment, yeah. that was the commitment. Yeah. Back in the day. Um, bring them back to what my mom was saying. It, it, I agree completely with you. I think the guy is very very stupid because you don't fall in love with somebody, want to marry them, spend four years loving them, and then be like, you know what? I love you so much that I don't even want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. Yes. And especially in this day and age, the way life is going. The chances of you succeeding by yourself alone in this society, mm -hmm. very, very slim. Yeah. We need marriage more than ever, yeah. you know, and real marriages, to be fair, because... But I feel like on the flip side, people also now then put too much weight on marriages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's that, again, it's that balance, yeah. and yeah, and it's just Pressure. like, it can define people, it can be their yeah, biggest yeah, aspiration. 100%. And I mean, if it is, I, I can't decide whether or not that's a good or a bad thing. Yeah. I can't. But for me personally, Marriage is a part of a bigger picture, and it's a it's a very significant piece in like a puzzle. Like it's mm. not the be all and end all. And I just feel like you can't then think if a man marries me that he's stuck with you. Because the bottom line is okay. that man can get up and disappear, yeah. and ain't nothing you can do about yeah. it. As Raya, I'm loving the words coming out of your mouth. Pure wisdom. Literally, just I'm listening to everything I'm saying. Yes, that makes sense. I see the logic. I understand you. <laughs> Ah, I didn't even. <laughs> oh, the shock. Okay, Lani, what are you coming up with? Come on, hit us. I will shank him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So you need to be. It needs to be a mutual decision. There ain't no point pressuring no man. Only thing I said that that he could have done is that it's just a. From the time he he started to have those kind of thoughts, it was just a conversation that needed to be had. Let's talk about it. Like, and at least then, from 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 the point where he first had had that thought. To the point where he feels like, okay, wow, this is actually what I'm going. Yeah. He's taken us through with it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, then, I guess she's not fully out of the loop, you know what I mean? Can I ask you guys a question? Um, if you guys went through your whole life and you died and you were never married, would you not? Would you feel like you failed in a? In if a I was life? successful in everything, everything else and I served my purpose, my family is good. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm blessed. How about you, Lucas? Um, I don't know. I'm going to say that Lani has also said. Um, ask this question to us 
So for me, I believe family is very important. I would like to have one in the future. So even if I was successful at everything else that I go on to do from here onwards, if there was no one to leave it to or no one to tell the stories to, especially like my own sons and daughters, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd, there'd be a void there. Like I'd die thinking, damn, I really missed out. What about you? Uh, well, <laughs> no, it's a must. It's it's that's for me on my list, not because of pressure. It's a must. I must get my parents. I like. No, no. This isn't even just about like marriage. Now, this is about like having an actual family. Like, do you it's feel? It's a hundred percent. Like, like you, you need a family have, before you die, sort of thing. Of course, because I want to carry my legacy. Mm. If I have my children. Yeah, definitely. But going back to the marriage. Especially like the wrong ones with the depression and the fears of that kind of situation. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I like the idea of like my future children like looking at our marriage and being like, oh, I want to be like my mm. mom and dad, like setting the standard. And then if you do that, it's like a legacy of even better marriages because they will see that and then yeah, keep, right. keep going and keep going. They'll like see and a then, good example. Like everyone, because seeing if you see a good example, then it will inspire you. Hopefully. If I didn't have a family, I would I think I, I would be devastated. I don't want to imagine me okay, having a family and kids without being married. Not yeah. saying that I'm placing everything on no, marriage. I get, no, I get, but yeah, you'd be disappointed. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, the context in which um, I'm going into marriage, yeah, yeah, yeah I would no, be. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't... Because they're intrinsically yeah. linked to some yeah, people. Yeah. So. Is it shallow for her to now leave because he doesn't want to get married? even though they <laughs> Absolutely not. Listen, young woman or woman, however old you are, if you ever see this video, you are not shallow. This man was investing four years with you. Four years. Look, bro, four years isn't only really short it's, period it's not, of time. Because a lot of people are like, oh, shallow, blah, blah, blah. No, she's not selfish. She has self-love, okay? You have to put yourself first in these type of situations. You can't be thinking, well, he wants... Yeah, but he's doing what he wants. He don't want to get married to you. <laughs> nah, especially... He don't want to get married. Like... Nah, especially because of the fact that the two of you went into it... I'm believing both sides wanted marriage, or at least he wanted marriage. So now that's come as a shock to you that he no longer wants marriage, I wouldn't say you're shallow for leaving. I'd say I'd, I could understand that because you spent four years investing to hopefully, you know, tie the knot, seal the deal, <laughs> jump over the broom, like, have the rice thrown on you, you know? For me, it's like, that's like someone saying, like, oh, you've invested so much time in this marriage, he cheats, and then, oh, but is she wrong to leave? Like, I don't know how you go on to the subject of cheating, but... Neither do I. ...each other and he's made it very clear that they love each other. I mean, it depends on how important marriage is to her. True. And that's her decision to make. I think it's shallow, though. But to a certain degree, it's... Well, okay, for example, you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. In Christianity, yeah. marriage is an integral part yeah. of that, that kind of relationship, mm -hmm. a romantic mm -hmm. relationship. In fact, it's the foundation because you're married in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So for, let's say that's the stance, yeah. and now your man is telling you he doesn't want to get married. That's not shallow. That's not. Mm -hmm. I feel why I feel like that's, that's not even a strong enough point. I would only hear that if she abides to everything else. That's no, that's not fair that's because no one's perfect. perfect. No, that's not fair. No, no one's perfect, perfect. Yeah. and yeah. everyone okay, has parts cool. of their faith that's more significant. So We're only human. Yeah. We can't... Significant this idea. It's not about perfection, it's about progression. Yes. You're not going to be perfect and just, boom, marriage is And fine. do all and the Ten Commandments you... and do every single thing in the Bible. And, like, you got to think, even those people that have been married for, like, 60-odd years and stuff like that, all those 60 years, they're st for the rest of your life, you're still getting to know each other because you're getting to know them in their teens, 20s, yeah. 30s, because people change throughout, people grow, and, you know, you change. That's you're not. I'm not the same person I was when I was 13 years old. Yeah, you change. that's not even you're constantly learning about each other that, and yourself. That's not even just a mental thing. That's actually a physical thing. I remember this one thing from one of my science lessons. I think it's every ten it's every years. 10 years. 10 years. Every ten years, you get a new skeleton. So literally, not all of a sudden you just wake up. Yeah, like, obviously it's a progressive, <laughs> it's a thing, progressive thing. But every ten years, roughly, changes. you've literally become a completely different person. And especially if you have children, it's going to taste different. About every, we care about every single part of every, our faith all the time because we don't have the capacity and to do that. And every part you're strong at and not so strong at. Like, it's not up to you to decide that she can't pick and choose what I'm parts of her faith are more. She, 
she can't I'm just saying that's my reason of thinking this is a bit mad because but then why be a Christian why why should anyone be a Christian and believe in anything unless they're going to abide by every single thing no 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 I'm saying right the fact that that's that's the hood that she really just going to die on is what's mad to me because really truly if that's the 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 point that you're putting forward my thing is okay cool but really and truly when we look at the whole grand scheme of it right yeah I believe God is love I feel like everything yeah from all the all the do's and don'ts yeah that that we're, we're meant to meant to do and and are meant not to do it all comes down to love if you if you yes, if yeah. you know what I mean Definitely, yeah. simple as that so if there is love that's the that's the one thing we at least have here oh let us it, it's not it's no but then it works both ways then it works both ways so sometimes life because I disagree with him because it's like to me I hope it's related to me it's like if someone like you've been with each other for years but one partner wants kids the other one doesn't so I must yeah. now stay I'm shallow to leave because I want kids and he doesn't so I'm shallow now to leave but yeah but once again that's something that should be discussed from day one Ways. If it's love, then why can't he do what yeah, she, she wants? Cool. So why can't we both meet in the middle and give me, it time? Not getting married is not meeting no, in the middle. Wait, 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 That's doing what he but, wants. But well, maybe we're not getting married for now. Let's give it time. So it is. It's longer? been four years. What do you mean we could not now. get married now? Like this, this is literally just procrastination all the way. Well, let's see if we can work. So I should just wait. Bro, you wait. Just lull about and just wait. You've and been then, waiting for four years. And, and then I should wait another. How, then how long do I wait? Another four? No, maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> the current climate, yeah, the way that society is mm. today, yeah, I would say she's shallow, but at the same time she's not, especially with the current climate. She knows at the what end of the day, we're all entitled to do what the f we want to do to some so, degree. No, no, in, in, to, to every degree, in the sense that, Maji, if me and you're in a relationship, you've changed the 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 the, 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 the stance of this relationship. But it could even be the foundation of what. Like when you go into a, a business merger, like. We have these ethos, they have these yeah. ethos, they bring these values, you bring these values, we merge. Yeah. If you renege on anything, it's not we can't merge because yeah. you've reneged on what we equally oh. yoked. Yeah, God bless you. Now <laughs> it's the same way with the relationship. <laughs> it's the same way with the relationship. It's like when they got into it, he was doing the whole, yeah, I, I want to marry this woman. They 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 loved up. They've done yeah. the the all of a sudden the, now, the the now short, shorty. Mm -hmm. And that's why the whole religious thing comes into it. It's, it's, it's even like it's just giving me flashbacks. It's like, oh, mm. you don't, you don't, you don't have sex, but like I have sex. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, you know what? At this point, you know okay, what? If your babe started not wanting to have sex, are you gonna stay and wait a year to see how it goes? I'm gonna keep it true. If that's what you wanna do, and you're sure about it, I'm gonna try. You're gonna try. Yeah, but I keep, but the keyword is try though. <laughs> I think it's shallow. I'm going to To win. Right. Just, just go with you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, right. You get it. Oh, my God. Extent because yeah, you can okay. work, you can try, all of these things. But the realistic connotation on it is it's not shallow because at the end of the day, you've reneged on something that is a huge part of my principle or a huge part of what makes me. Do you get what I'm saying? I like beating. I like I sex. What you're so if me and you now are like, cool, I wanted to try. I've done this whole try and stuff. Right, at this point now, I still want to have sex, my G. Like, and you, Wait, so this is a principle for you. Really and you're not going to, like, you, you so found a girl in your dreams, but she has everything. Just, well, might as well just going to be next thing. Then the girl of my dreams can't be the girl of my dreams. I can't know, it doesn't make sense. To be in a relationship with the girl you want to be with and sleep with other women because she doesn't want to have sex. Listen, I'm not having sex with you. That's the main thing. You stick it to what you want to do. Abstinence, right? It is, it is. I think I think it's shallow only because yeah, if this is the love of your life and you're only you're not the love of my life if you don't want to get married. But they, but the way you, okay, but you might walk away and never find somebody. No, I will. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. There's too many people on this planet. There's too many people on this planet for you to tell me I've now got to now lower my standards for you. Like that's that's what I'm hearing. Like. Like, oh, but what is it? Do you know how many countries, cities, towns? There's too many let, for me to be like, oh, no, I'm going to settle for you. Let me tell you all something. That relationship that you're in, whether it breaks down or whatever, there is somebody else out there that you could easily meet. Trust me. Fam, they're talking about celebrate. So she's abstinent, and but you're sleeping with other people. I don't understand. Like... No, so Why get involved in that in the first place? Why not be with someone that does want to have sex in their relationship? No, but that's the thing, though. Why put yourself in that situation? That's just stupid. See, because I'm not too sure if it's a case of they're putting themselves in that situation or if it's a relationship where they're initially intimate and then all of a sudden he or she says, okay, I don't want to be intimate anymore for whatever reason. But I don't agree with his point. Like, 
how are you gonna say okay cool cool you be abstinent i'm gonna go beat my side things like like you just sound like someone that doesn't have self-control or discipline like come on man Wait, wait, wait. Listen, the connection. But it's true, some people, you guys are saying this because you're young. But maybe, maybe then I go back. Maybe then I go back. You know what I'm saying, yeah? You're saying this because you're young. But have you ever, you have you ever spoken to older people? And sometimes they'll say, oh my God, do you know who I love the most? Some girl when I was 21 or some girl when I was 25. It happens. It's true, it happens. It happens sometimes. I think people romanticize that. People move on. They go on. Sometimes it move on. But the last time I was in love was four years ago. Some people find it easier. Like my brethren, she's in love every other month. Every other that's not love, month, that's she's love. in love. Every, okay, cool, Don't but she finds it easier to, to like niggas. The point is, sometimes some people find it harder to find real connections, isn't it? So you can't just throw away a relationship. That's true as well. That's, that's the, the point, idea. Though. Throwing it away. You're not just dashing it away like oh, four years. You're just gonna throw it because you're not. You're not throwing it away. Yeah, no, that four years is already gone. So it, that's right. True. What do you mean you're throwing it away? That's like, true. It's already gone. It's gone by. It's the past. What was that? And at the end of the day, it's a sunk <laughs> cost. You're not going to get those four years back. So it doesn't make sense to now stay. Oh my God. The four years are gone. <laughs> Did I, just, longer. I just said this. I just said it. You're not getting it back. It's yeah, not... man. Thank you. Oh, goodness. That's not doing it. That's not. That's not. That economically, that that's not. I think stay and try and force him to change his mind. Yeah, but people change their mind. Every day, nag him, cry. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Why are you wasting your energy? I'm not putting this much energy into nonsense. Oh my goodness. Every day I must nag. So, oh, it's twelve o'clock now. I'm gonna do it. No, no, no. It's so ridiculous. Genesis. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. Yeah, just just try and get to the genesis of why he's he's his No, I'm not saying he said I, mean, I don't I mean, need a marriage. You're like, okay, okay, bye. Obviously there's gonna be that element of like working through it. I think the point is ultimately they can't come to an agreement on this. Does she suck okay, it up okay, and yeah, stay or does yeah, she yeah, That's yeah, how yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. assumption in my brain. Like okay, not yeah, he says yeah. it, she's like, okay, bye. Like, but the way to be fair, the way the guys put it. He put it like raw, like I just said. Then she was yeah, she's back. Yeah. Well, I didn't think if this sat down, like, like her, like what's going on? Like I didn't even plan for the. Let's say he sat down at the table, yeah, and he said to her, "Listen, babe, I've changed my stance on it. I don't believe in marriage anymore." And she says, "Are you mad?" Well, yeah, she says. She says, "Well, boy, what are we gonna do?" And he's like, "I don't know." I still wanna get married. We're in passe. <laughs> what do you do? Do you know what I mean? And I'm sure, like, you work through it. But at the end of the day, if if some, because he's not saying to her. I need to see, I need to wait. He's telling her, I don't believe in it anymore. So it's kind of like... That's just my thought process now. Currently, I, I don't is, believe but in this it. Is what, but this is what I'm saying. Like, if that's your thought process, that process now, then you need to deal with that. Like, because I can't put... I can't sit here and just hope that you're going to change. I hope that I'm... Because that's ridiculous to me. I'm sorry. If the guy said to you that, okay, right, I don't want to get married anymore. If you're not sure, and there's something where you just feel like, okay, it's, I'm going through that phase in my yeah, life, yeah, yeah. don't have the conversation because you're not sure. Because if you no, no, walked no, away now, no. but you communication has to be. So, what's your point? Is your point like he shouldn't bring it up at all, or he should? He should say something like, "I'm not." Sh-. He should say, "Babes, I'm not sure about the marriage thing. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to really think about this. Gonna, it's just gonna leave me oblivious, you know, for how much years I'm just waiting and thinking what the hell is going on." I would think. But, and then, and then it's like I asked you, and then it's like, well, three years ago, I did, I wasn't really. So you just made me. Wait here all this whole time, this whole time you've not been interested. Like, uh, you should say something. Absolutely, What's I don't. Wrong? I can I can understand where Lucas is coming from. Uh, in the sense of, if you know you're unsure about what you believed in, and you're starting to think other things, if you're unsure about what you're thinking, I can understand this point about don't have the conversation because you've not even confirmed it to yourself. Uh, but I do agree with your point. I, I, I feel as if, if you're in that sort of position, you should at least communicate that to your partner and say, look, at this moment, I don't really know what I'm feeling. I, I just need some time. As soon as that thought comes to your head, you should talk to your person. Especially, it, it's, no, but I'm talk, I feel like I'm really talking about when you're in a marriage. As in, any time those type of things come... Like, a relationship period. Yeah, a relationship period. You should say something. Don't leave the person hanging because I'm not okay on them. You like her like her and if it's something that it was just Gosh, a phase no, no, waste, waste but, no, but, but don't don't have a pointless sure. conversation about that. something because if you're not sure then there's a decision that needs to be made i can give you that time but you're not telling me you're not sure you're telling me that you, you do don't not believe, believe in marriage, marriage. Yeah. 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 that's why i made the point if you don't say right and that means you could potentially change your mind 
don't have the conversation. Do you believe, because you're still in love. You still love. Do you believe? You no, but do you believe this guy? Really no, I don't. I think her. you should still have the conversation. I'm not saying don't have the conversation, but what I'm saying is, if you're if you're presenting to someone that this is how I feel right now, I acknowledge that that might change, and I'm ultimately then you're saying I'm not sure. If you're saying right now this is how I feel, yeah. then ultimately I feel like you're saying. I'm, I'm, I acknowledge that this could change. I could change your mind. I feel like that's how he's saying it. He's saying that, wow, I've, I've just told her my views have changed. She's like, wow, swear, I'll come out then. And he's thinking, wow, okay. fuck, that's all I But lying. guys, um, you know how he's saying he loves her? I think we have to think about the fact that he might not actually know what love is and he might not really love her. And the reason I say that I is... I can just assume you know this. No, 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 yeah, no, I mean, that's a big The grown-ass no, man, four years, no, really. No, no, no. People are with people because they're, um, you know, they're comfortable, they're used to you, they don't want to, you know, you're a comfort blanket. The reason I say this is because I've seen this happen with the kids thing. You were talking about marriage, but some people don't want to have kids. I've seen this happen quite a few times in my, um, like, work environment. One person's in a relationship and they're like, I don't have kids, but they love the other person. Then they leave, they go and get home. Right, and then when they leave, Look at they have the next... Thank you, sis! Like, Thank don't you, ever, sis. ever say that to me. You know, I'm swearing for you until the day I die, you know? You can't leave me, you know, kids that you got... He made, he made his wifey, who what? he loved, have a... Um, what was it called? Tie her tubes. Tie her tubes, and then he want to have kids with the next bitch because he didn't fucking love her. That one, I would actually love to sit in that. And actually have an interview. I want to have a, Neil, why do you do that? He's a cunt. Neil, why, why should you do that? You should be shot. Sure. <laughs> like, well, like, so, so, so what now happens, yeah? She now leaves. Okay, so wow, well, she, she doesn't want to get married. Because then this is what women do, yeah? Out of spite. Is it, is Wait, it, sorry. Will you be the person that made this, like, the whole situation? I just feel like maybe they just don't want to be monogamous. Because... I don't understand how you view yourself before you say that you love them and you want to be with them for the rest of their for, for the rest of your life. But I don't want to be with them. Yeah, nah. Like, see the thing how is, how can you love someone? I just don't think you want to be. I don't think you want to make that commitment to one person. For me, I think it's a case of people are afraid of actually sealing the deal because, like, especially in the society we live in, it's not like si right now, nah, but it's not even just that. It's not like sixty years ago where. If you were in a relationship with someone, marriage was the expected end goal. It's a case of you can cohabit. Mm. People can cohabit, have kids, and live like a great life, but shack still insist. Yeah, shack, shack, shack it up, up, as Americans would say, and insist that, nah, we're not going to get married. But then I think to myself, but why do? You've already taken the plunge. You've already said, you know what? Yes, I'm committed to you. We are, we're linked. Especially if kids are in the picture. Why not? seal the deal and say you know what yeah not only am i confirming my love to you the one that it matters to but also to god and it before our friends and family but can i say as well i know like because we said about kids and i just think um people have to always remember that like you're setting an example to your kids and like you don't want to be in the position as a parent where they say, well, you didn't get married, so why do I have to? Yeah. And it'd be like, like you had to, like, so say you had sex out um, before marriage, but you find out, like, your kid's having sex before marriage. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. No, 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 no. But, mum, you're not married. Mm. You had. And I'm I'm, an, I'm a result of that. No, no. Mm. It's like, you can't say nothing because you, it doesn't make sense. Marriage, what, 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 what will become? Can I change both? Is that okay, please? Yeah, thank you. That is the goal. Amen. I did, ideally, though, you should be chasing love, and in love, yes. marriage comes. Yes. So yes. she was already in something that had love. The marriage part was something you could negotiate. You know what I mean? But this is what I'm saying. There's no middle ground when it comes to marriage. You have to get married or you don't. There's no negotiating. You can't compromise. No, you can't. You, yeah, let's just be engaged forever. Like, where do you, like... Cool. Can I say one thing? You see... In the Bible, back in those days, do you really think they had reception, wedding, everybody <laughs> come? Do you really think so? Ask me that. Of course they did. No, no they, they, they had they, a party. Where? Where? Oasis. Did, and now for everybody to sit down and, and, and tie dinner. No, 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 no. I promise you, it was more of a thing. It was more of a thing of listen. I'm with you. Wait. You're you're with me. We're gonna breathe. Tonight is gonna gonna have a you and, no, and that was it. I am sure what? they did not have wedding. They had the party. Yeah, we can turn up. I can, yeah, come, let's, let's go turn up and, and that will be our wedding. What? Why, why is such emphasis you put on what? a marriage? In theory, you lot are saying yeah, of course she's chasing marriage, but she's actually not. As right as right, she's chasing both. She's but that's she's not chasing the thing is that people got stoned and people still get stoned or do it out of wedlock, so they're all then married. What are you talking about? In the Bible, people will get stoned. Remember the woman? Yes, I know people would be stoned and... for like fornication and That's stuff. That's what I'm saying. Where so, did that come because from? Because he's saying about how 
Oh, they didn't have a wedding, they didn't have a marriage. They but what's that got to do with stoning if you don't... Hold up. Where did stoning this, come I'm from? I'm saying they still had marriages. He's trying to say that they didn't have marriages. That's not what he said. A... That's, he said that no, that's not what he said. He said, do you really think back then when they had marriages and weddings and stuff, do you really think there was some big party or something? But he I said, no, no, let me finish. Let me finish. He was saying, I guarantee it was literally just, the guy says, look, you're my woman. We're gonna we're gonna breed tonight. How about you? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> what? That's fornication then. No, that's but that's they've come. Confer- no, but like they've actually they've gotten married. But that's what the marriage was. It's like they've gotten married. However, they done handled the legalities. Mm-hmm. But it, there was no party. There was no yeah, all of the, the part- extravaganza yeah, the and the stuff that we have. But the party is like. Yeah, but my point is, you make no that's, sense. That, no, that's, you just came out no, stoning. But, no, no, but no, but no. <laughs> exactly. No, hus. No, you no, can't. You can't, you can't even defend it. No, no, you can't no, no, defend wait. it. No, we're continuing. You can't even defend it. Shush. Wait, no, Shush. No, no, no. You, what do you have to say? What does the extravagant stuff have to do with the marriage? That's just a party. That's just celebrating the fact that you got married. They have the talk. The... Carla, my point is, you're making no sense. You got on a completely, completely right, different right, tangent. All right. All right. A dream. At the end of the day, for some people, those things are intrinsically linked. Yeah. Marriage and some people can't separate those. What if I have a party for you? Yeah, everyone. Tony, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> but in her mind, she basically she, she basically equated it to right. You don't want to marry me no more. You don't love me no more. Yeah, and that was it for her. That is a bit mad. That is a bit mad. No, but at the same time, love you. He just don't want to marry. You. <laughs> but why? why like, do, if we spent all that time life, together, been, why do you years, then? You want to, so you want to just stay shacked up, cohabiting? That's to, but you don't want no papers. What's that term? It's like make an honest woman of her, or something like that. It's also not because big man. Why don't you want to marry me, fam? No, she's right. You don't have papers. to protect themselves. It is because of this that. So what of the guy? What of the guy? What of the guy? What of the guy? <laughs> A woman will compromise a lot for a guy. Ten years she'll be with him, he never got married. She, 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 and then he'll get a side chick and then say, listen, babe, I'm leaving you. Yeah, and then six months down the line, he'll be married to this bitch. I yeah, will murder you if you I'm ever sick. fucking do that. So you understand? So she you, has done I'm the right thing. You, you can never you. commit any crimes because you've already admitted to doing all of them. <laughs> no, but the point is, you know this, it does happen to people. No, You no, compromise and then they give everything you wanted to someone else. Like, this is another thing. When we, talk about, when we talk about this compromising thing, it gets to a point where... It's not compromise. It is ridiculous sacrifices. And you're sacrificing too much for this person. Love is sacrifice, Danny. You have to sacrifice. Yes, sacrifice as well. Love you do. You, you can sacrifice certain well, things. All the holes you got for you. What, 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 what's that? I'm done with this conversation. I don't want to talk anymore. That's four years worth of hoes. Four years. Is he even that cute, though? We don't know. Uh, she's got niggas, too. She's got niggas, too. Maybe her ex nigga had a bigger dick. She probably dig. didn't drop oh my Maybe her ex nigga had a bigger dick and it's something with yours. How do you bust out of a four year relationship with somebody that you love just like that from them telling you that they don't want to get married anymore? Chances are you probably had a guy that was there that is that comfort guy. Okay, this is. Guy. Because so, oh, so what you're saying is a woman can only leave a man if she has another man no, there. Rose, Rose, Rose. Rose, because women are evil. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll Stop see coming. a libertine the next week. Yeah, uh, I hate all of you, man. <laughs> what I'm saying is... Why are you taking your time? <laughs> they were both in love, and because of this one variable, how did you just bust out? Just like that, four years. It's not even, oh, we're, we're giving each other space. He said she's gone. Like, even sound, I, when I read it, I felt like he was crying. As he, you know what I, mean? I felt like he was crying, like, no, no, no. and she's gone. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a precedent has been set, and time and time again, she's given a man time, she's given a man time, she's given a man time, and he's let her down. And she's like, We don't know that, though. I assume. No, I know, but what I'm saying is, you're talking about variables, isn't it? So, what I'm saying is, let's not act like there's in no situation that leaving like that. Is, is shallow and unfair because there are there are circumstances yeah, where exactly. you might be understand. You Rules, might be man. What's up, wrong? If you if you planned a romantic proposal, you got all the family there, you got on bended knee, oh, and you asked her to marry you, yeah, and yeah, she yeah. said no, yeah. what are you gonna do? You would leave. You already said you would leave. Yeah, together, honey, we got the. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Point. Wait, wait, wait. This came up in a in a season of back chat. It was t- it was talking about okay, so a guy proposes to a woman, most likely before friends and family. The woman says no. Is the guy is the relationship over or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. For me, the relationship is finished. I don't know how long we're together, 
But if I've gotten down on my knee, my one knee, I've, I've made the effort to go down below you to look up, look mm-hmm. you in the eye, express my love to you before my friends and family. And also, what do you people forget? Before a man has gone to do that, he has told someone or asked, do you think I should do this? He's gone to his brother, his sister, gone to his mom, his dad, his best friend and said, look, I believe she's the one. And they're just like, you know what? Yeah, you guys have been so this together. Is, this, is why you have com- this is why you have conversations about marriage. What do you think of marriage? You ask questions of like, where do you see, do you, when would you see yourself being married and by it? Like, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, you know, just spring up on the person and be like, uh, what? Yeah, because the thing is, for me, like I said, that happens. Where if I've gotten work? to that point where I'm holding a, most likely a very expensive ring that I've busted my butt to make money for, to buy for you, to say, look, I want to wife you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. With you. And you tell me no. Oh! Especially if it's in front of a crowd. That's, oh. that's embarrassing. Oh. Say yes and think about it later. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> 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 We don't, oh, no, we don't want sex. Sorry, it's touchy. Sorry. Do you think she can really love him if she says no to Lucas? No. No. That's a violation. Someone else is dicking her down. 100 yes. No. You see, you, you don't like when I touch you out, and I've caught you many times today. I've caught you. Someone else is dicking her down. Come on. We just be not kids here. We're not kids. 100 percent Someone's going to be with for how many years? Four years. Somebody from the know that you're going to tell him no. No, women are ethical. You don't even have the decision to, 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 to say yes then. And then now, okay, then I, I just didn't want to embarrass you. I just said, I just said. Think about it later. Just say yes. Oh. Especially if there's a crowd, just say yes. And, oh. then, and then after, be like, that's why you have engagement. Yeah. You have that time to be like, are you sure you're into it? No, 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 no. Because I would rather that than in front of a crowd. Yeah, because if I was it, a guy, it's, it's, it's just the embarrassment, just say yes. man. And then man. afterwards, no, you know what, I couldn't understand. Like on the real daytime, um, he was with Adrian. She was telling the story about how, yeah, she came to her wedding, and like, it was like if anyone has like that part where it's like any reason now, why these yeah, two yeah, shouldn't yeah. be together, and speak the, now or forever woman, hold your peace. The woman and like the bride mm-hmm. is basically like basically like knows of that, and then they both, um, say like we're just not ready for this. They both come to a that they're not ready at the altar. And then they, everyone decides to party afterwards still. <laughs> and then they're still together to this day. So what was the point at the altar saying, no, we're not ready to then spend the rest of your life together? What was the point? Now what? You know what I mean? Yeah, You know, I would probably even fight for you a bit more because the fact that you even fought with me yeah. enough to save me yeah. from the embarrassment. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, good. No, noted, noted, good. noted, noted. Because I get men proposing all the time, and I don't be nervous. Oh my god! You know, no, he's lying. Because imagine the high you would feel. Oh my god, I found my babes finally. And then when you get home, she would crush it. That would be a lot. At least I'd be in my house crying than in yes. front of my family and friends. It would just be internal. And then we can put the story out together. Bro, bro, that's the thing. The way I'm gonna finesse that whole story. You know what? Yeah, I just want. Just, yeah, just want. Just we just wasn't there, man. Yeah, it's fine. No, yeah, we're still cool. We just wasn't there. That's the difference with men. Men are liars. You see me? If it's no. the highest me, I'd go. And, Women I'd go are liars. And say, oh my god! I don't want to be with me. Do you, do you think my mom could ever keep it true? Hate me if a woman told me no. Why should they? Never ever. Everyone would think you have a small willy. <laughs> it's love he says these things with this looking high. <laughs> My brother, find yourself another <laughs> potential. <laughs> yeah, plenty, honestly, let that plenty, plenty. She was probably dicking down someone else anyway. Hundred percent. You wasn't her first choice. 100%. I mean, all you said was you didn't don't want to marry. Women are evil. You have to fast before you watch somebody. Don't let them conclude like that. But, yeah. no. Move on. And you have no position to defend anybody. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I think we all agree by saying just move, move on. Yeah, move on. <laughs> So guys, we have come to the end of the video. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comment section because as you can see, me and Shikala, we've expressed everything we were feeling and our thoughts and opinions. Like, sis, you got anything to say? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I mean, I just think it shows the mentality of like you see the different personalities and different like thoughts and ideologies. Like, like, I don't know. There's some things I agreed with with 
everyone and tell them things about it and they're not just like, well, you really need to know your partner because... Yeah, but... Um, your partner should legit be your best friend. Yeah, that's true. Thing is, I, I think I agree with that final statement. Just move on. You've decided you're no longer interested in marriage. It, it, it's like Lucas was saying with the whole business deal stuff. I mean, if we went in both at this same level, but then all of a sudden you're here or you're there, we're no longer matching. Like we, we, we've, we, we, Especially like the you, foundation. You, make it you both work. need the same foundation. You both need to start off. Like if you're already unstable from the very beginning, mm. you're just going to fall down by the time you get there. If you get there. Yeah. Does that make sense? You're just wasting your time. True that. And on that note, guys, we have definitely come to the end of the video. Any last words? Anything you'd like to say? No. Okay. Well, then, until the next video, uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see, anything you think I should react to or review. But until then, please do Sorry, feel free. We used to do that. Yeah, if you want to see more of uh, the baby sister, uh, yeah, let me know. But, yeah, like I said, hit me up in the social media. Instagram is at MCFergie. Snapchat is Colin123. Back, I may not have actually said that in the beginning. Either way, check out everything that I put in the description. But until then, please like, subscribe, comment and share with the world. Everyone, I'm planning to bring you this regular content because especially with this whole coronavirus stuff, everybody's stuck at home. So got plenty of time. Okay. So until then, peace, peace. and God bless. <laughs>